it is time for the hot topic of the hour. President Biden is headed to Baltimore today to tour the damage from last week's deadly key bridge collapse. Meanwhile, a new political report finds that the Biden campaign is bringing on a group of new veteran pollsters and advocates to lead its new election efforts. All this coming after a Wall Street Journal survey shows former President Trump is leading Biden in six of seven swing states right now. A new Rasmussen poll also finds Trump has a double-digit lead over Biden among Hispanics. Black and Asian voters also seen shifting now to Trump and to Republicans. A new Gallup poll shows Republicans are more enthusiastic about voting this year than Democrats. We are lucky to have Lee Carter this morning in the studio. Lee, your reaction to all of this? So I think it's really important for Joe Biden that he gets in, um, some new pollsters. He obviously hasn't been listening to them. Um, whenever he's asked about, or any of his people are asked about the poll numbers, he said, I don't really believe them. So he has to start uh, waking up to it. And the pollsters that he's hired aren't just people who are going to be reading the numbers. They're going to be giving him advice on how he needs to shift strategy. And it's very clear that he has been very out of touch with the American people. He keeps saying the economy has never been better, and yet people haven't felt worse about it. He keeps saying that immigration is going to be fine, and yet it's not going to be fine. He blames it on the Republicans, and people blame it on him. So he's got to get some pollsters who are really going to give him advice and guide him towards what he needs to do. Um, whether or not he's going to listen, that's a big question. Well, look, John Lonsky, I, I, I don't know about pollsters, but all the pollsters in the world are not going to change bad policy, and bad policy has put Americans in danger in a number of areas. Your reaction? That's precisely right. Hey, I thought the economy is going great guns. I thought that Donald Trump is a racist, and yet we have Hispanics and other minorities shifting towards Donald Trump in great numbers. So there's something really wrong here. I think they're also uh, troubled by the rise in crime. They're uh, troubled by cultural issues. And Absolutely. all of this is working to the advantage of Donald Trump. Meanwhile, the administration is implementing a new rule to make it more difficult to fire federal workers in case Trump gets reelected. The former president promising to revamp the workforce to, quote, weed out the deep state. Biden trying to stop that. He's calling this rule a step toward combating corruption and partisan interference to ensure civil servants are able to focus on the more important task at hand delivering for the American people, John. This is what Joe Biden is claiming as he puts this new rule in place that you can't fire anybody. Trump wants to fire the deep state. <laughs> Well, yeah, this is what he wants. He wants to get their votes. He wants to be more uh, confident of getting those votes in Washington, D.C., that company town for the Democratic Party. Uh, let's not, uh, you know, be too naive. What we want to recognize is that one of the reasons why we have this huge uh, federal deficit is because Joe Biden engages in borrowing money via the federal government to buy votes, in, in effect, to keep the Democrats in power. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lee? Well, I, I you know, I, I, there's been so many commentaries out there, especially you heard RFK Jr. saying, actually, Biden's the threat to democracy. He's the one that's stacking the institutions here. We should be really more concerned about Joe Biden than we should about Donald Trump. And, you know, I, I think it's fascinating. Uh, you know, Joe Biden has set up this whole narrative that it is Donald Trump that's going to have this retribution that if he gets into office and so he's able to come all these policies, except, you know, Donald Trump is saying himself, he said, you know, the the best retribution I have is going to be success. And he says, you're saying I'm going to be a dictator. I'm going to be a dictator on day one just to do two things. He's actually, they're, they're completely creating this narrative that is setting things up for them, not necessarily the truth of what Donald Trump is all about. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's what they do all the time. Uh, set up this idea that Trump is the threat to democracy as they try to pack the Supreme Court, as they try to take his name off the ballots, and they do everything possible that is a threat to democracy. That's right. And interestingly enough, you know, the polling now suggests that Republicans are as concerned as Democrats about the threat to democracy. And that's so much of what Joe Biden's message is about. Well, actually, it's Republicans are starting to say, you know what, we're concerned about democracy. We're concerned about our, our voice being heard. We're concerned about the institutions. Yeah. Um, and so this really could backfire on Joe Biden.